What did you think about this morning? Have you thought about it? Yeah, I've thought about it. I, I cannot believe you guys. I, I, you, you, you honestly think it's okay to recommend two gorgeous, might I add, gorgeous, touch starved, love starved, affection starved, sapphics to a touch starved, love starved, affection starved sapphic. And think that's okay. It's just rude. Like, what? I honestly cannot believe you guys. I don't know how many comments I've been getting. Oh, when are you going to review Line S? You should watch Cruz and Alia. And when are you going to make a video? Okay, look. Last week, I was like, okay, look. Let's check this out. Everyone's saying I need to watch it. I honestly wasn't that excited because I watched the trailer and it didn't look that good to me. I was like, it's not going to be a great watch, but everyone's telling me to watch it. So here I go. I'm not going to lie. The actual show is pretty good. I enjoyed watching the show. <laughs> There's so many badass women in it. So I appreciated that. But then we get to Cruz and Alia's relationship. <laughs> and like, I'm an emotional wreck right now. So I start binging it. Like, first episode in, I'm hooked. And then we're getting that, oh, that fake relation, the fake dating tro- Look, look, it's like a fake rela- friendship, but turns into more. So we get that trope. It's so good. I get up to episode six and they have that, their first kiss at the end of episode six. And oh my God. My Lorca! <laughs> That's good. It's the most beautiful place on the earth. <laughs> I am buzzing. I am amped. There is just like, oh, the tension. But then like they kiss and it's like, especially Cruz, it's like her whole world just open up. Like she didn't realize what she was missing until that kiss. And then she's like, holy shit. Alia's, she, man, she's been down like since the start. She was just like surprised that she lost control. <laughs> but like, man, at the end of episode six, I was I was amped. I was so amped. I was like, oh my God, this is fucking amazing. No wonder everyone is telling me to watch this. I back out because I'm like, okay, I need to get some stuff from the shops. I'm going to get some lunch and then I can dive into the rest of the series and keep on watching this magnificent freaking storyline because I am G'd up. (laughs) I back out and I see there's one episode left to watch and the season finale is out in a couple days and I... I don't know what happens, but I kind of go into shock. (laughs) I just stop feeling. I like disassociate. (laughs) I'm driving to the shops and I don't know if I've broken any road rules. I, I don't even know how I got to the shops. I, I was just in my head that entire time. So, you know, I take a little bit to process like, oh my God. How incredible of like a storyline this is and the potential that it can lead to. Like in my mind, I'm just running through like all the amazing possibilities that you can go through. I mean, they never happen. Like I have to find fanfics for these, but (laughs) you know, like I'm running through like, oh, this, this storyline just builds up to so much potential. Like there's so much you can do with this. And then I'm also running through like the devastation of like, oh my God, there's literally two episodes left. One more episode for me to watch. So there's a lot going on. And then watching episode seven. Oh my God. Like, ah! <laughs> oh my God. I just, I don't know how to process my feelings. Like Alia is like, she, oh, she can't stop thinking about it. And she's, she doesn't want, like, she's scared, obviously. Like, her whole, like, whole life is controlled. This, this is not something you can get wrong. Like, you cannot, you know, just experiment with any friend or any girl. And if it goes wrong, oh, well, you know, like, <laughs> her life is controlled. So she's has to be very specific with, like, ha- do I breach this? Like, But she does. Oh, my God. And Cruz is just... <sighs> she's... Oh, she's just a baby. <laughs> like, I, 
<gasps> there is a lot going on with Cruz. I don't, I don't know if she's ever thought that being with a woman was a possibility, right? Like, you know, it's something that she would be interested in at all. But I don't even think that she thought she would feel love again or ever, right? Like she went into the military to like find control in her life. But I think she'd kind of like pushed all the thoughts of that possibility ever happening out of her mind. <sighs> and so like she's on this mission, like, you know, but she's struggling. Anyway, you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like the, 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 the clothes dressing scene. And then they're like, we can't do this here because too many people around. So they go to the hotel room. Oh! Don't do anything. Now you find more. I don't care about the fucking guys. Bruh. Bruh. I just, like, when they, like, when they're lying in bed after they've had sex, right? And Cruz just starts crying. I... Feel all the feels. Fuck. This show. So I watched episode seven. And I was like, okay. Season finale is in a couple days. I'm not going to like the, the ending. There is no way I'm going to like the ending. The, the possibility of one or both of these women dying is so fucking high in this show. But even if that doesn't happen, there's no way that they end in a good way. <laughs> I just knew I had to sit there for a couple days, which is not as bad as like most of you guys. Like you guys have been watching this week by week. So you have to wait a whole week. But I was waiting like a couple days and I was like, <sighs> I devastated because it's so good. There is so much potential in that storyline. And like I said, it, it, I feel the feels. Okay. <sighs> and then we get the season finale last night. <sighs> Like, Cruz is trying so hard to not go there again because she is just like, she's in love and she doesn't want to, she doesn't want, A, want to hurt her and B, you know, she still wants to finish her job. Like, you know, like she, she knows she has a job that she has to finish and it's going to be so much harder if she's in love with Alia. We get like that one scene where they're in like the bedroom together the night before. They're like, you know, I just want to feel love one more time. Ah, my God. I, I can't. Uh, I just want to feel love one last time. And then it all goes to shit. Like, you know, Cruz. It's like, look, I can't, I need, I need a, a break for a second. I'm going to get some water. Then obviously she runs into the dad and kills the dad and then runs away. And then <sighs> Cruz is just like messed up. Like, like she's messed up. She's, she just got absolutely tortured throughout this whole series. <laughs> so she completes her mission, but at what cost? Alia's alive, but at what cost? I just... Like, they're never going to see each other again. That, like, it, that can't happen. Can it? I don't know. Someone write a fan fiction where this ends better, please. <laughs> like, I... Like, I, I'm really... I'm really... I, I really wanted to make this video to just say I'm really hurt, guys. I'm really hurt that you did this to me. Like, why would you make me watch this? I am devastated. And this is your fault. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> so you know what? You guys owe me. You owe me. It's facts. So because of that, you guys need to go watch my last video that I made watching all of Riverdale. Go watch that right now. Because I don't know what else to do. So do that for me because I'm devastated right now.